you should always open your tube outside of your palette because you risk to have some crumbles of dry paint and if it falls inside the fresh paint when you apply the paint on the paper you will get something that you don't really want. I'm sure of that. To keep your paint hydrated you can spray it with tap water from time to time and how often? It depends where you live and what is the temperature. I usually spray two or three times per sitting session. You can draw your sketch with a watercolor pencil. This way the color will blend into the paint and you can either rub gently with the paint on top of it to integrate it or leave it visible under the paint. It gives a very nice effect. To get something cohesive with your colors, you can apply a first layer of gouache that is very watery. This way you have an under layer on top of it. You can build your different layers. The only thing is to increase the consistency of the layers. When you mix pastel colors, you should always add the color inside of the white because pastel colors are really, really light and just dip a tip of your brush in the color and mix it with the white. The other way around, you will never get a pastel color. These are some of my 60 wash tips that you can download on my website and you have the link in the other video. And you can get more tips for successful gouache painting. And it's free by the way. Just saying. Use Chinese white for your mixes or um, zinc white and keep the titanium or permanent white for the highlights. This is a very strong white and it requires to be used alone. And if you make your mixes with titanium white, first it will cost you more money because it's more expensive than the Chinese white. And also your colors will be slightly different than if you mix with Chinese white. Increase the consistency of your layers. Your first one being very watery, like watercolor. Your second one with a bit less water. The third one a bit less water. And then the fourth one, but that's the maximum you can do with gouache. You cannot pile a number of 10 or 12 layers. That would make no sense. But just increase slightly and the colors will integrate together. It's Something that is interesting is that the pigment is grasping on the pigment below and it's giving something very, very soft and very well blended. You can use a very dry brush to apply a texture on your paper. It depends on the type of paper you are using, but if you have a very thick and dry brush, you can apply soft edges that will look like a lot of different things. Here I'm using it on the edge of the shadows, but it can be used anywhere else for fur, for example, in animals. If you apply too much pigment in some part of your painting and you want to remove it, grab a clean brush with clean water, rub gently to lift up the pigment, and then you can wipe it out in some tissue and go do it again until you get the amount of pigment you want on your paper. Uh, be gentle though, because you may risk to damage the paper if you rub too hard. You can apply colored pencils on top of gouache. This is really effective for details, for adding sharp lines that would be difficult to do with a brush, or to fix some value, fix some colors. You can apply a second color on top of the painting and change slightly the hue. You won't change blue to a yellow, but you can move some values and some hues as well. To clean your brush, just go to the sink in your kitchen, depending on the regulation in your countries. In my country, that's okay. And gouache is not toxic, so you can place it in the sink. I am using a regular soap, just rubbing the brush into the soap and cleaning it inside my hand, on the palm of my hand, until you get a clean, clean foam coming outside of the brush. And then I will just shape it again to let it dry horizontally with the correct shape. And you're good to go, it's really easy to clean. 